Before starting the system, please ensure that the phone and helmet are under the same Wi-Fi. If the app shows not calibrated, don't worry. Simply detach the IMU housing and move it in an 8S shaped pattern. This will calibrate the magnetometer within the IMU. Once your app shows calibrated, you are good to go. Next, I'll demonstrate how the FSR matrix can estimate the impact location and magnitude. As you can see, I stroke the front of the helmet. For the purpose of this demo, the concussion threshold was lowered so that the system can respond to my strike. To see the location of the impact, tap the clear mapping button to see the green impact marker. Once you're done viewing the impact information, you can tap the clear state button. Now, I'll strike the left side of the helmet. Due to the deep sleep mode of the Wi-Fi module, there is a small delay in warning. Once again, you can check the location and clear the state. Then, I'll strike the back of the helmet. Again, the app updates the new impact location. Finally, I'll strike the back right zone of the helmet. Once the app received the latest warning, the indicator will show the correct location. In this next segment, I'll demonstrate how the system detects rotational acceleration. First, I created a yaw rotation. As you can see, the alpha term on the app consists of rho, pitch, and yaw. In this case, the yaw acceleration is 7.3 radian per second squared. Meanwhile, the color mapping shows the weight of the helmet, which is at the top of the head. Then, I'll introduce a pitch rotation to the helmet. For this instance, the pitch acceleration is 3.43 radian per second squared. Finally, I'll introduce a roll rotation to the helmet. A row acceleration of 3.08 radian per second squared was detected. 